this will kind of come into play on your quiz, just not the right and left hand. So we're just going to review the right and left hand limits. Again, what we're looking for is the limit. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's call this function f of x. I should probably have the correct notation here. Doesn't really make sense to take a limit if we don't know what that limit is of. That's f of x. So you're taking the limit as x approaches 3 from the left or from the right or of 3 of the function f of x, right? So in this case, we have the, uh, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the left-hand side. So basically, we're going following from the left-hand side. And as we go, we, as we approach 3, we see that the f of x value is going to equal 1. When we approach the limit from 3 from the positive side, we're going to the right of 3 and we're going from right over to left, and we can see that it approaches the f of x value of 3. Um, if we're just going to find the limit of the x equals 3, even though the function is equal at 3, we see that the left and right hand sides are not the same. The value, the function is not approaching the same limit from the left and right hand side. So we can just write does not exist. However, if we are going to plug 3 into the function, even though we don't know what these functions are, we know that this solid dot represents that that is the value that the function is um, equivalent to at 3, which you can see the value is 1. Anybody have any questions on this little warm up? No? Okay. So now let's go.